Have you ever wanted to just have a delicious treat for your family? Maybe it's a special occasion or a birthday or after school and you just want to welcome your kids home or maybe you just need a treat for yourself after a long day at work. Well, today I'm going to teach you a quick, simple recipe that is nutrient packed. Sound good? I, no, believe me, you're going to love this one. All right, today we're going to make what's called in the Healthy Treasures cookbook. Now, if you don't have this cookbook yet, you really need to get it because I cook out of this every week and so do all of my friends. Just a lot of really good common sense recipes and delicious recipes. And sometimes that's combined into one. <laughs> so today we're gonna make what's called the after school treat. Now, this recipe is going to call for some ice cream. I'm gonna teach you about what ice creams to buy and which ice creams to avoid. But remember, I have lots of videos about how to make ice cream and those links are down below. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm on mission to keep you on mission to help you be confident in your cooking, confident in grocery shopping, confident in understanding how much God loves you because He created you, He designed you in His image, and most importantly, He loves you. So be sure and subscribe down below, hit that little bell next to it so you can get notified every time we post new videos. And we have a lot of videos to teach you how to understand about God's love. All right, so the first ingredient for this after school treat is ice cream. Now, like I said, I do have some links down below to some other ice cream videos that we have posted. And everything from watermelon ice cream to peach ice cream to uh, make your own several different ways ice cream a lot of options now ice cream when you buy it in the store i used to always encourage people to buy a certain brand because it seemed like that could be the most trusted brand well it's not true anymore so i'm not going to tell you what brand i bought because in six months they're going to change their recipe as well what brand i thought was safe is no longer safe so you want to look for non-gmo on the carton of ice cream this is so important because non-gmo means you're going to get no um, corn products, no soy products. And when those are grown all around America and they are a GMO crop, we get the ill effects of that in our, in our body. So make sure your ice cream is a non-GMO ice cream. And I was actually quite pleased with the ice cream I found in the store just because I wanted to make sure I could tell you there are still some options out there. To this, we're going to add one scoop of protein. Now, Again, <laughs> I preached about a certain protein powder for 15 years, and now I have changed companies because I needed to always know that I am teaching you and sharing with you the very best on the market. So yes, I am now using a protein powder called GBX, G as in gut, B as in brain, X as in axis, and this is all about healing your gut and healing your brain, and <laughs> it is definitely a delicious protein. So we added some protein powder, and then I'm just going to add some cocoa powder, some dark organic cocoa powder. And that's it, three ingredients, and that's it. So we're going to be using our immersion blender here, which is also comes with a food processor, and we're gonna blend it up. So certainly you could make more than one serving at a time. Right now I'm just making one serving and we're just going to dish this up and that's how quick it is so you realize ice cream is really not when it when you buy it in the store it's not a nutritious nutritious food i'll get it out there nutritious food in itself it's, it's really just a treat and because we can recognize it as a treat a once in a while maybe once or twice a year treat then that's okay but when I start adding in the nutrition that I just did, this much protein in one serving, I have just changed the protein content to over 15 grams in this serving. Now, and then the cocoa powder, well, that just makes it delicious, okay? So here we have some delicious chocolate ice cream. It's our after school treat. You can feel good about serving it to your kids. It tastes yummy. They will not complain at all that you've added a good protein to it, but that is always gonna depend on the protein as well. So I'll put a link to this protein down below so that you can check it out for yourself and see how you like it. Again, I wanna hear what you like about this. Leave some comments down below, try it, see how you like it. 
you could actually swap out the ice cream for yogurt and that would add more, more nutritious value. The protein powder is definitely a bang for this and it helps you to feel good at, with serving it. Lots of recipes. Now you'll find this recipe as well, not only in the cookbook, but on our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com. And if you haven't visited that, you're really missing out. You could just camp out there for a weekend and just read the blogs, look at the recipes, and enjoy learning how much God loves you through the foods that he's given us. I'm Annette Reader, The Biblical Nutritionist. Be sure and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave some comments down below because when you comment and thumbs up and subscribe, guess what? Google will then share this with people around the world. And the message is always this, God loves you and he has a purpose for your life. Thanks for watching.